next few days, you're going to be the human component in the Turing test. One day the AIs are going to look back on us the same way we look at fossils. Hello. With so much tech development already being made, the future is upon us. We see ultra-high-tech machines with the latest AI technology making their way into businesses and homes. Humans know the limitations of their abilities and have created robots that not only perform human tasks, but also look like us. They look fascinating to the eye, and perhaps their physical familiarity makes them more acceptable to the masses. They go by the name humanoids and help humans make life much easier. If you want to know more about these robots, keep watching the video as we look at how humanoids will change the world. What are they? The word humanoid comes from the Greek word homologous, which describes a machine that looks like or can be mistaken for a person. In this sense, humanoid robots are machines that look somewhat like real people. They have arms and legs like ours, they walk on two legs or four feet, and they have an upright posture. If you have ever dreamed of having a robot made, then your dream will come true. Robots are already used in research and space exploration, personal assistance and caregiving, education and entertainment, search and rescue, manufacturing and maintenance, public relations, and healthcare. Soon, you'll be able to buy your very own humanoid robot as a gift for someone else or even yourself. The possibilities of how to use a humanoid robot in your day-to-day -day life are endless. Robots have come to life and are here to help you live your best life. The humanoid robot market is growing rapidly, and we've got the inside scoop on the top robotic startups in the industry. Robots have already made their way into our homes, replacing vacuum cleaners and dishwashers in households worldwide. They've even been used in remote areas with no human inhabitants. But now, it's time for them to take over more of our lives. How do they work? Electrically powered humanoid robots are more common than those using hydraulics or pneumatics. But they are incapable of running independently. Instead, the electric power source must be manually controlled by the user at all times. This makes them more expensive and less versatile than other types of robots. Pneumatic humanoid robots use air instead of hydraulic fluid to move. This allows them to move independently and even climb stairs if necessary. However, because there is no direct physical connection between the power source and the actuator, it is not possible for these types of robots to run autonomously. Hydraulic humanoid robots use hydraulic fluid in addition to an external power source like batteries or solar panels to move around autonomously. Because there is no direct physical connection between the power source and the actuator, these types of robots are also incapable of running on their own without human intervention. Do we need them? It's a popular question. Are robots taking our jobs? The answer is no. They're not taking any jobs at all. In fact, research suggests that robotics has been responsible for increased employment over the past decade, especially in skilled positions. And we're not talking about low-skilled service jobs here. We're talking about high-skilled positions that require significant amounts of cognitive intelligence and problem-solving ability. Do we need them? Probably yes. The scale at which today's industries and businesses run is expanding and becoming complex for human abilities. So humanoid robots are proving handy and useful. By creating humanoid robots that are not just more human-like than their predecessors, but also have the capacity to think and feel compassionately with us, we can ensure that this new era of human-robot interaction is one in which we learn from each other and work together for our mutual benefit. Are humanoid robots in use right now? Imagine a world where robots are not only used for basic tasks like cleaning, but also for more complex jobs such as personal care and companionship. For example, imagine a world where you could have your household robot take care of your children while you're at work or have one working with you in the hospital. This is not just science fiction, it's already here. In fact, it's right now. The most advanced humanoid robots on the market today are so lifelike that they can be mistaken for humans by many people. 
Robots are being used to relieve humans of hard and dangerous jobs. They are also prepared to take over routine tasks for astronauts in space travel. Many risky and less accessible areas utilize humanoid robots for maintenance, disaster response, power plant inspection, emergency response, and other routine tasks. Human employees are thus saved from risk and relieved from hard and life-threatening jobs. Some restaurants have started using humanoid robots for taking orders and serving guests. No doubt they have gained immense engaging and fun feedback from the customers and, at the same time, reduced human labor. It helps in driving existing as well as new customers to the restaurant. Humans are used to interacting with each other, but when it comes to eating, we tend to get stuck on our phones or laptops. The humanoid robot can be a point of attraction for the respective restaurant, hence helping drive existing and new customers to the restaurant. The second reason is that it helps improve your business's image. People are not used to being served by machines, so they will have a better perception of your restaurant if they see one at work. This will also help improve their experience while visiting and encourage them to return again in the future. Future of humanoids? We are all different, and we all have a unique perspective on the world. But the fact is, we don't know what kind of future we will have. There are many possibilities for how people and robots will interact, and one of these possibilities is that humans could live in a world where robots are the dominant species. Robots could take over our jobs, replace us as caregivers or educators, and even replace us as lovers. What if that happened? What would happen to our lives? Many people have made assumptions about this possibility, but it's worth considering what it would mean to live in a world where humans were no longer necessary. Imagine if you woke up one day and discovered that you had lost your job because your boss had decided to replace you with an AI. As we've seen with many other technologies, there are multiple ways for humans to work with machines. Some jobs require human interaction with machines, like programming or designing, but there are also jobs where humans can work alongside machines, like technicians or engineers. One way to think about this is that there is no single type of job that a machine can replace. Each job has its own set of skills that allow people to do their jobs well. Humans will keep their superiority intact, and there will be a system where humanoid robots will assist us in ways unimaginable today. The future of humanoid robot technology is bright. In the past few years, we've seen incredible advances in the development of robots that can walk, move their heads and arms, and even speak. These advancements are just the beginning. We are already seeing a shift from basic walking functions to more advanced capabilities like jumping and climbing stairs. With each new advancement comes a new set of challenges to overcome. But it's exciting to think about the possibilities that lie ahead for humanity's next great leap into robotics. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.